for medial lateral, I'm going to keep the arm close to the body. Now, it doesn't have to be right up on the body touching it. You can give yourself a little bit of space. Okay, as long as it's not approaching 90, you're good to go. Okay, and I'm going to put this on the distal part of the humerus. Because if I put it like this, well, then we're just raising the whole arm up. We just want to make the elbow higher relative to the shoulder. And I probably could go even a little bit higher here. I'm going to fold that out. See how that's neutral? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I'm going to take her into lateral rotation, but what wants to happen to the humerus? It up. wants to abduct. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, our stabilization is easy because the table is essentially stabilizing the humerus, but we don't want the humerus to abduct. So you're just going to kind of hold on to the elbow a little bit, so you're going to prevent it from abducting. Okay, and you're going to eye gony. Okay, so not quite 90. What do we think that is? 70. Maybe 70, maybe a little less. Okay, so that's lateral, because this is zero. Okay. Medial, unless your patient's really restricted, the stomach will stop you. Okay, but same thing, notice how if I just let it go, the arm will abduct. Mm -hmm. So still hold the elbow and say, okay, now they're there. Can we just stop there? Mm -hmm. No, push their stomach. <laughs> 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 okay, so where's my fulcrum gonna be? And by the way, the fulcrum stationary and moving arm for medial lateral, same thing for internal external. Electronic. Electronic process. Yep. And stationary arm? Parallel, Parallel or perpendicular to the floor. Perpendicular to the floor, so straight up. Oh. And moving arm? Align with the ulna ulnar using the electronic process and ulnar styloid for reference. Ulna to the ulnar styloid. Okay, because the pinky side is the ulnar side. Thumb side is the radial, radial side. side. Okay, so I'm going to get her arm back in resting. Okay, and we guessed a little bit around 70-ish. Okay, I'm going to take her back into this position, making sure the humerus is not abducting. Okay, and it would make more sense to not have my arms crossed. And then I can let go here. Okay, as long as I don't let the humerus move. And grab my goni here. And I'm gonna do that a little. And 60. Okay, then I'm gonna bring it in. And it kind of can just rest on her stomach. I should have preset my goni, don't mind me. Forty-four. 